Stima as a guest on our podcast was a horrible decision. This is a decision that we're definitely going to regret in the future. This is something that like that might end our podcast. Guys, welcome to Read the Room, man. Slip and Read the Room Radio. Super excited to be speaking to y'all. First of all, I just want to address something. Yes, we had Stima on the podcast. Stima is a cool person and everything and stuff like that. We had her on the podcast. Single-handedly got our podcast to like 1.1k views in a day. Like in a day. It was supposed to drop on Monday. And then we had like complications. That's the first sign. That's when we sh- should have known in the first place. That, hey, this might... This might act a little weird. This might act a little weird. But then it dropped like on Tuesday at 1k, what, 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 1.1k views on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Shout out to Sima, man. See, people came to Sima and people let us know. People definitely let us know they were here for Sima. I, I found those comments so unnecessary, but do we actually go to one of those comments? Do we actually like go to one of those comments? Like literally people were like, I'm here because of Sima and then and then why don't you just be here and support the boys and love the boys and shout out to us why do you have to let us know that you're here for sima <laughs> that's like going to somebody's party when you've invited their friend and it's like hey listen i want you to know your party's trash nobody wants to be here i'm here for my friend josh i'm here for josh your party's trash your chips are trash your drinks are trash the music is trash everything's just trash i'm never going to subscribe i'm never going to be here I appreciate everybody that came that like liked and commented and stuff like that. But for the, I'm here for Sima. <laughs> the, the, I'm here for Sima comments for a while to be person. Like we know you're here for Sima. Like 1.1k of you are here for Sima. That's not our views. <laughs> That's not our views. That's definitely for Sima for real. But the people who like said it, like they wanted us to know that we're not here for you. <laughs> like they specifically wanted the boys to know we don't care about you like that. But shout out to you, at least you put like a heart emoji. I appreciate you. Sima looks so confused in the intro. Sa- Sarna. Is that Sarna? Sarna. Are you supposed to say Sarna? <laughs> Sarna. Faith Q E 5 O H 17 hours ago. Sima looks so confused in the intro. She does. Let's actually check that out. Let's actually check that out. But Suma looks like she doesn't want to be there, dog. Like, look at her eyes. Look at Sima's eyes, bro. Sima does not want to be here. I literally asked her this on the podcast. I was like, dude, why are you here? And he's like, like, can I just tell you guys? Because I'm going to tell you after this video. Like, dog, Sima does not want to be here. Aya is just laughing, going crazy, doing his thing. Giving the, look at it. She's just, like, just tacking in her shirt. She's like, she's looking at her management. It's like, yo, why? Why did y'all book me for this thing, bro? <laughs> oh my gosh see my shout out to you bro but you look like you hate us on this thing bro like i know it's all like i don't know we don't know you're like that so i can't even like it's all love it's all like it's all like but like shout out to you but you look you look so disinterested bro you look so disinterested you do not want to be here can i tell you guys something sima was supposed to show up like I forgot what time. She was supposed to show up like at 12 or something like that. I think even 12 or 2 years. It was exactly at 12. I'll put the text up here if I can. I don't want to like expose Sima because it's not a hate like video or whatever. But like Sima was supposed to show up at 12. My nigga showed up at like 2. <laughs> Superstar level, dog. I'm not hating on Sima. <laughs> like she knows. She knew that. You know what, Sima? We're going to wait for you. She knew that we were going to wait for her. And we did, bro. But she was tired, Jim, guys. I think, like, one thing, like, people are saying, like, oh, Sima doesn't want to be there. Like, here's one of these comments. Here, here. As much as I watch everything that Sima has, what? As much as I watch everything that has Sima, okay? It's clear to see your, that she was so, why am I struggling to read this thing? It's because it's only hate, dog. I don't know if it's hate or, like, 
criticism, but if it's like constructive criticism, to who? Who is the constructive criticism to? Do you know what I'm saying? It's clear to see that she was so bored. Kule podcast Sana. Can thank you for someone who spelled Sana correctly. Let's give them a round of applause. And the bros are so hyped. First of all, we weren't that hyped. I think because her energy was kind of low, we kind of had to increase our energy. But if you watch like our other podcast, which you should, we are that type of people anyway. We're super hyped. Can I just say, guys, Sima is like a superstar, bro. Like she's always busy. So she was tired. And this isn't like a paying gig. Like Sima did this out of the kindness of her heart. Or she was tricked by her management. One of the two. So it's like this wasn't a paying gig where she had to like bring it out and just be Sima. Do you know what I'm saying? She was like, yo, bro, like, I'm gonna just treat this like a break. Shout out to Kit Kat. She's like, I'm gonna just treat this like a break and just chill and just do my thing and just like be here. Like she, I, 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 don't, I don't hate on her because I know she was just tired. I really don't hate on her because I know she was tired because of the superstar level. Do you know what I'm saying? So like on one part, I get it. And on another part, I feel like if Sima's energy was a bit more up, it would have been such a fire podcast. Do you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, Sima's like, she knows she's welcome to come. We've had conversations with her. I think she wants to come. I don't know if that's like PR talk. I'm like, of course I'll come. Do you know what I'm saying? And then she goes to her manager. Don't ever book me for that podcast again, bro. Uh, another comment here. Podcast has a lot of potential. Thank you. I appreciate you. Giveon. Guys, I'm horrible with names. I know that name is not Giveon. Is it Giveon? It's got to be Giveon. But I know it's Deluxe. But your podcast has a lot of potential, nice energy, good vibes, good setup. It was the first of all, this setup was borrowed, guys. Like, this setup was borrowed. We begged the people at Capello. Shout out to Capello, guys. Capello is a cool place in, where is it? It's in Newtown. It's opposite App Studios. It's a great club, guys. Go there, go groove over there. Amazing place. We were supposed to only have that place from 10 to 1 p.m. Sima showed up at 2, mind you. We were supposed to only have that place from 10 to 1 p.m. to shoot whatever stuff we want. We shot like another branded content, and we were going to shoot Sima as well. Sima showed up at 2, and these people, like, with the kindness of their hearts, let us shoot on their thing, even though we were not supposed to be there. It did get a bit weird towards the end, but, like, shout out to them, man. Appreciate them. And shout out to Contraband 108 for, like, just hooking us up with that place in the first place. But, like, it was borrowed. It was a borrowed place, and Sima showed up late. As superstars do, there's no hatred. So it's like we were like really stressed that they were gonna kick us out while we're doing the podcast. But yeah, so that's not our setup forever. You know, that's not always gonna be our setup. But yeah, thank you for complimenting it. Shout out to Capello. Uh good vibes, good setup. This reminds me of when Mac G started a couple years ago. Stay hungry, boys. First of all, don't call it. you know just call it some man a boy. <laughs> you know just like, hey boys, yay! But yeah, I've learned here in Joe people just call each other boys. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it just happens like that, but I know it just I know it's nothing like weird like that. I'm just joking now. Oh yeah, we are hungry. It's weird when people tell us to like stay hungry. You know what I'm saying? I'll keep pushing. It's like if you didn't say this, I was gonna give up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, stay hungry. Now that you've told us give you on, we're gonna stay hungry. If you didn't say that, I was gonna Thank you to give you for telling us to stay hungry. If it wasn't for him, I would have left. I would have left. <laughs> uh, stay hungry. Uh, stay hungry, boys. Also, big respect and shout out to Sima for being a guest on the show. Yeah, man. Like, um, we're people who have, we've had like big guests before. Shout out to the Kalaya, shout out to Ebenezer Tsakwana, shout out to Blackie. We've had Blackie on. I think like as a brand and like us, people kind of trust us, like celebrities and stuff like that. But like, I don't know where the views, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, a lot of big creators may not want to collab since they have nothing to gain. I wouldn't say Sima has nothing to gain from us, you know, maybe like some jokes, you know what I'm saying? Some good vibes. I don't know. I don't know, Kivion. Why would you say there's nothing like you? We also bring stuff to the table. We don't just like use Sima. We know who uses Sima. We know who's used Sima. And we're not going to just use Sima like that, you know what I'm saying? We'll give her some good laughs, give her a good time. I give other people also give her a good time for a little bit, you know. <laughs> and since this is not a big podcast yet, you want to okay? 
Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. It is going to be a big, big podcast. You know, I don't know. She's a real one for that. Keep posting and most importantly, stay dangerous. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Hmm? What do you, what do you mean by that? Why do you mean by stay dangerous? I'll take it as a compliment. I'm pretty sure it's a compliment. I'll take it as a compliment. But yeah, man, like, just like to say, Sima is such a kind person. She was so patient with us. When she showed up, she was clearly tired. Like, when she showed up, you could just tell how tired she was. Um, so I just, we just appreciate her for coming through to the podcast. She's a pretty cool person. She's a pretty cool person in real life. You know how people, like, sometimes you meet people and, like, they give us and stuff like that. I think if she wasn't tired, bro, everybody would have had a better experience. But because she was tired, it was kind of a weird vibe and a weird day. And some people picked up on that. I remember, like, people hitting me up. I'm like, dog, why does she might not look like she wants to be there? And I pointed that out. Like in the first few minutes, like in the first few minutes, I said, dog, why, why are you here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm glad she didn't cancel though. L- lots of like people would have just canceled instead when they're tired and stuff like that. But that just shows you like the determination she has and just like how cool she is that even though she was tired, she still showed up. She was not disinterested. She was not bored by us, by the certain people who said that. She wanted to be there, man, but she was just tired, fam. She was just tired. But yeah, guys, this has been Read the Room. Shout out to y'all for, for watching this. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and all the things relevant. This is Tudumil Kapiya. We out.